Hey y'all, welcome to week six video log of my Milo project journey. <clears throat> I want to continue to thank you guys for all the support. I always get great comments from people. I notice there's a lot more people constantly check in on the blog. I didn't get a chance to post as much this week as I wanted to, but uh, I hope to get to doing that again some more, uh, <clears throat> come with some more ideas for stuff to talk about. Um, this week, uh, like I said, it's, it's into week three of the back and forth, uh, which is halfway through it, but it's week six of my journey. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take some measurements and some pictures tonight. I have them up tomorrow, but instead of doing like I've been doing where it was last week versus this week, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. And so it's week one versus week six. I'm thinking I'm going to do this every six weeks. I'm going to go post back progress from day one. <clears throat> um, just to just to show you guys that if you're not seeing it in the weekly pictures, uh, sometimes I have a hard time seeing it in the weekly pictures. Um, but you compare it for the past six weeks and, and you see uh, uh, big changes that uh, are just the accumulation of small changes throughout that time period. Um, one thing I really, really want to talk on um, other than the fact that I got to train legs today because I had no injuries, which was good. Um, uh, did some pretty high, high rep stuff and some, uh, uh, stuff that challenged me a little bit, which is good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might be a little sore after, uh, uh, tomorrow or the next day, which is, uh, normally when my DOMS is, uh, delayed on onset of muscle soreness, DOMS. Um, normally it's, for me, normally it's two days after. Some people get it right away. Some people get it the next day. To me, for some reason, it hits on the second day after I uh, train really, really hard. Um, um, trying to get, keep your nutrition right and um, your soreness doesn't hit as hard. But the only other thing I want to talk about um, is I was watching uh, Pumping Iron last night again. And um, there's something that I've seen him him say it. Uh, I've seen Ben Pikulski say it. Um, that the the difference between... The people who get the physiques they want, and the people who are just uh, just not are hitting the plateaus and not making any progress, a lot of times that difference is being able to push through um, the pain. Um, when you're working out, you know Arnold said it: those last two or three reps are what makes the difference. Um, and I'm I'm guilty of it. You know, there are times when I walk away from I, I do my set and I walk away and I'm like, why didn't I do any more reps? I could have did a couple more reps on that one. Um, but you got to push past where your, your mind starts saying, oh man, I'm, I'm about to burn out, but your body can still go a couple more reps. You know, um, uh, it's hard. Like me, I train by myself. I don't have a spotter. Um, but I still push it and push it and I've gotten used to knowing when the next rep, if it's going to fail or not. Um, had a couple of scary moments before with that, but nothing major. Um, so just just think about it in the gym. Are you are you stopping early? Can you do one more rep, two more reps? Those one or two reps are what makes the difference. You know, um, I talked to you about extending the sets through uh, um, rest, pause, and drop sets. That's another way to push past that that pain barrier. Um, give yourself a little bit of rest. You know, um, but I was going to try to find some clips. Hopefully, I can before uh, uh, this goes up uh, live on the blog. Uh, if I can find that clip of Arnold talking about that and pumping iron, um, I know where the video for Ben Pikulski is, so it'll be thrown up there. Um, him talking about how he pushes through the pain. Um, but those reps, like I said, those were those are your money makers, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to this next week. Um, I'm gonna be pushing it really, really hard. Uh, I got to figure out what the difference is because this is the start of phase two for back and forth training for for this program. Um, I think it's just uh, exercise change, um, maybe some maybe some modifications to some of the exercises. Um, other than that, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I know it's not much, um, but hopefully you enjoy it. And then uh, you, the progress stuff that will be posted up tomorrow, check back in. And then throughout the week, I'm going to get something up on uh, at least Wednesday the latest. And then... Uh, Maybe a couple more things Tuesday and Thursday. We'll see what I can come up with. Um, other than that, have a great day and keep grinding on.